morning. Dog, the dog's put a stick on the floor. I was like, what on earth is that under my foot? Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to um, a small charity shop haul video. I have just spent a couple of days down in Newton Abbott with Caroline. We did the Newton Abbott charity shops on the first day and then we went to St Mary Church on the second day, I think. And I thought I'd show you what I've got. There's not a great deal. It was small, slim pickings at the charity shops. Caroline and I have noticed that this is becoming more and more the case. Um, charity shop prices have gone up. I personally think they could get more for their charities by lowering their prices. I think they'd sell more. And I do think some of the things that they are now asking higher prices for, nobody's going to pay. When you're looking at, when, this is an age-old argument, when you're looking at things like Primark tops that aren't in brilliant condition, that, are, that they're trying to sell for nearly as much as they would have cost in Primark in the first place, I think they've lost their way a bit there. But that's not from a reseller point of view. That is from an ordinary person point of view. Your ordinary man or woman in the street is going to go, I'm not paying six quid for a used bobbly Primark t-shirt. However, that's not what we're here for. I'm here to show you what I did get. So let me just grab a bag to put it in. I got, the light's going to keep changing as well because it's morning and the sun's coming up over the trees. Some of the first stuff I got actually um, was not from Devon. It was from a charity shop that I stopped in on the way down. But when I went to get petrol, I stopped in a charity shop. And they had a pound rail on the go. From that pound rail, I picked up five items. And I also bought a pair of shoes as I got to the till. So on their pound rail, and this is purely because it was an interesting print. This is Celia Burtwell. I haven't looked it up. I don't know. No, I, I, I know I know I recognise the name. I'm just gonna just have a quick look. Um, she's done collaborations with Next and with Uniqlo. Um, I don't know where this one is. Let me uh, let me have a look on the label and see if it says this is the Uniqlo Uniqlo collaboration. And the reason I picked it up is because it has an interesting print of dogs and ladies in cameos. So. Whether or not it will have a actual name, I don't know. It's not showing up in my search results. It's not leaping out at me. But it's only a Jersey t-shirt, and I probably wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't on the pound rail. I thought I would give it a go since it was on the pound rail. It is a size, dum-dum-dum, drum or please, I've just looked. What size are you? It's a size who knows, apparently. Okay. It's a medium. There we go. I found a tiny label that says medium. So that was a quid on the pound rail. Long sleeve jersey t shirt top, just because it was an interesting print. No other reason. Also, on that pound rail, and again, only because it was a pound, Laura Ashley dress, sleeveless geometric print, bodycon, and gives that illusion of being more slender than you actually are because of that panel down the front that supposedly hides your sides. That was a quid. Sweaty Betty. I've never found Sweaty Betty clothing and this again only a bit of a ratty t-shirt really. I'll have to debobble it but I bought it because I've never found Sweaty Betty clothing. The only Sweaty Betty item I've ever had to sell was a gym bag. So I was like Sweaty Betty's my first ever spot pound. And this one, not quite, not quite sure how this one made it to the pound rail. This is, the run more please. LK Bennett. Can you see that? LK Bennett dress. It is only black jersey again. It is a straight to the waist and then a flared skirt which is a stitched on additional panel. So it's not all one piece and it's not cut one piece on the bias. So straight followed by a bias cut skirt. It is a size 10 black jersey. LK Bennett dress for a pound, you know. Their original price on it was £6. To be fair, if I'd found it at £6 I would have been quite pleased I think. And then the last item off that pound rail was another unknown, but the label looked interesting. It's from TK Maxx originally. It still had its TK Maxx price label on, which said our price fourteen ninety nine, and the brand is Monto, Monto Los Angeles. Never heard of them, so that was my wild card. Really, I'm trying to get this done before my dogs get back from their walk. They're out on their walk. This 
was probably not worth picking up. We're looking at very low prices on this. So this isn't exciting at all. But sometimes you have to look outside of the box to learn new brands and stuff. So I'm not, not too bothered about it. And it was a quid. And then, as I said, I picked up a pair of shoes by the till. And that were, those were these Clarks. They are a really nice fuchsia pink with a yellow trim. Suede flat pump. And they're completely unworn. They've got absolutely not a mark on them. They are size five and they were four pounds they were in a basket by the till and they were four quid so what is that yep yeah, there's the price sticker on that one so yeah, those are lovely caroline nearly nobbled them but when she tried them on they were too small slightly too small for her so and then actually in devon then i can't remember what i got from which shop i picked up four judy bloom books these are brand new and unread the spines are not creased at all and they are all from the um the super fudge range so i think the first book was tales of a fourth grade nothing and then there's fudge mania otherwise known as sheila the great and double fudge double fudge i don't think i ever read as a kid but um i bought them because a they were 50p each and b they were and, and they were unread but also because the judy bloom are you there god it's me margaret film came out recently so i thought there might be a little bit of a revival of judy bloom books so i thought now might be a good time to get those i think this was in the one pound charity shop yeah this was in the one pound charity shop and again it's gonna need a bit of debobbling de but it's yours clothing and it's a heavyweight it's a jersey winter tunic with a tall cat print can, can you see that they are cats aren't they yes they are I don't know if you can see it properly, but it has a grey moral. It will need a bit of a debobble again, like I said, but that was in the one pound shop, so I thought I'd give that one a go. Also, in that one pound shop were these shoes. But I'm oh, sorry, the clothing was all a pound, but the shoes were all two pound. Was, am I, was this the right place? No, it wasn't these ones. It wasn't these ones. It's the right place, wrong shoes. Hang on. These shoes. These were £2. They are Clark's again. I bought three pairs of Clark's shoes there when I was away. So these are Clark's Somerset. And they are a simple single strap, single suede strap sandal with an ankle strap and a small wedge heel. And I'm pretty sure I've sold these before, possibly in a different colourway. So these came from Torquay Emporium, it says on the bottom. And I'm not sure what, what shop that was. But it says £4.50. Did I pay £4.50 for these? I'd be surprised if I did. No, I didn't. They came from the Horse and Foal Sanctuary and they had a sale on all their shoes and these were in a, uh, in a box by the door, so these were £2. I'm going to say, I didn't think I'd paid £4.50. £2 for these from the Horse and Foal Large Clearance Store. So they're Clark's again. These are Clark's Artisan and they are a very soft tooled leather ballet pump flat. They were two quid, so three pairs of Clark's shoes in two days. Not quite sure what happened there. I bought myself this top. This is a yours clothing, just a simple long line. It's, it's inside out because I tried it on. Long line, royal blue tunic t-shirt, and that was brand new with its tags. Brand new with its tags from yours clothing. It, there is no yours price on it, but yours clothing, don't, they don't start at below 16 to 20 quid. So, And that was uh, £4.50. £4.50 for that one. I bought a crimpit. I have sold a crimpit recently. Uh, I can't remember what I sold it for, but I know I think I can only pay pennies for it. But I had, I've never sold one new in its box. So um, I thought I'd grab that. That was £2.50, if I remember rightly. I peeled the, I tried to peel the label off last night, and now I can't remember what I paid, but I think it was £2.50. In that £1 charity shop, I also got this sea salt bag. All of my receipts are in. I just thought, here's me going, I don't know what I paid, I don't know what I paid. There's all my receipts. Be there for the tax man. I also picked up this small sea salt duped bag, which um, I've, I've done quite well with the sea salt duped bags. This won't go for very much, don't get me wrong. This size is not that exciting to people, so it won't go for very much, but I thought it was worth picking up for a quid. And I, you know, I also bought this Julia Dodsworth Queen's mug for a pound. This is the chocolate box design. They were doing five DVDs for a pound. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure which shop it was, but I picked up Erin Brockovich because I've been wanting to see that recently. Clips of it have been popping up on TikTok and I saw it years ago. I wanted to watch it again, couldn't find it on Netflix or anywhere like that. Um, a Victoria Wood, again for myself because 
why not? I like Victoria Wood. This is Victoria Wood Presents. So it's six self-contained comedy plays also starring Julia Walters and Celia Imrie. And I may have seen... I don't know if I have. Maybe I haven't seen any of these. Yeah, no, I haven't seen any of those, so that's good. I'm really, really pleased about that. I got the Best of Fraggle Rock, Best of Red, that's to sell. I got the History Boys, because again, I've never actually seen the History Boys. So, basically, the one I wanted to buy was Erin Brockovich, but they were... 50p each or five for a pound, so I thought, well, I'll have five then. And I also got Truly Madly Deeply, which is another one I've never seen. I do like a little bit of Alan Rickman. So, um, yeah, never seen that either. And, yeah, that one to sell. So, if you want me this week, I will be mostly watching DVDs. Because I also got, for this was 50p in the big charity shop. Again, they were, they were 50p or three for a pound in there I didn't there weren't two others I wanted so I just paid 50p for Julia Roberts in the Mona Lisa smile because this is another one that keeps popping up clips on TikTok and I've never seen it in the children's society I bought myself a little pair of earrings for 199 I don't think they're silver I think they're only tin and therefore they will probably make my ears erupt but they were pretty so I'll just try and not wear them for very long that kind of chain rail chain link kind of design in the big cancer research charity shop, the books were two for a pound, and I got odds on Miss Seaton. I've read quite a few of these Miss Seaton ones. They are, I don't know, I don't think they're very well written, but once you get in, you do get in. And then I got a Terry Pratchett Jingo to sell. And then the only item of clothing I bought in that charity shop, even though everything was three pound or under, was this Kin, Kin by John Lewis, white, crisp white blouse shirt. That was three pounds. That is a size 12. Never had kin before. Somewhere, I'm not sure where, I don't remember where. Mary Fowl Sanctuary, 50p for a little hanging Henry plush. 50p for that one. And oh, my, my cellar tape stuck to this, hang on. Oh, this is how the day is going to be. I can just feel it beginning. And so it begins. This was, I've just managed to tear the price off. It was a pound. In the Marifold Sanctuary. That's a two comforter. And 50p in one of the other places. Young Life's Young Life's versus Cancer for this one, which is a chickpea. I've never heard of the brand chickpea. I don't, I, I've just heard myself say that. I've never heard of the brand chickpea. And it was as if I'd heard myself say it once before. So either I'm getting deja vu or I have heard of the brand chickpea and I've just immediately forgotten. Not sure which. Last couple of bits. This gorgeous, this is only two at Sainsbury's and it was 4 95 but it is a beautiful dog print blouse. It won't fit me. It will not fit me because it is a size 16 and I, you will be astonished to hear, I'm not. But it's really nice, really, really lovely print. Dogs in glasses, I've just realised. Every single one of the dogs is wearing specs. Dogs in specs. <laughs> 4 95 for that. And then this was for me and it turns out it isn't because when I tried it on, I couldn't get it on. It's an Oasis and it's a size 24. And when I saw it, I thought, I didn't even know why Oasis went up to a 24. Well, it turns out they don't. They think they do. Now, I realise that viewers could be thinking, maybe you're just not a 24. And I'm not. I'm a 24, 26. So I knew it would be tight. I said to Caroline, I'm going to buy that. I don't think it's going to fit me, but I'm going to try it on anyway. If I do get it on, I don't think it's going to be flattering, but I'm going to buy it anyway because it's brand new with its tag. It's, I think it's really nice. And if it's no good for me, it'll be good for Tammy because she is smaller than me. Well, looks like Tammy's in luck because I could not get this thing on. It is a floral jumpsuit with a kind of a half leg. So a cropped jumpsuit comes just below the knee, sits at like sits like a dress, basically. It's, I, I think it's lovely. I'm sure it's lovely. I couldn't get it on. I just about got the legs on. I couldn't get my bum covered. And then I managed to hoik the shoulder bits up, but there was no chance that the zip was going up. And my entire chest was just hanging out the front of it. It's very, very open cut. If Tammy does have it, I think she'll end up putting a stitch in it or putting a safety pin in it or something. Because it's very, very open at the front. And because it didn't fit... I wasn't in. I wasn't in at all. I, I came out of Caroline's spare room. I thought she was going to die laughing. I said, to, I, as I came out, I was like, you're not filming for your vlog, are you? Because this can't go on the internet. <laughs> You've never seen anything quite so upsetting in your entire life. 
that was it. That was seven pound fifty. So Tammy, hopefully, hopefully that will fit Tammy because I know she'll like it. Hopefully it'll fit her, and the seven pound fifty won't be wasted. That's it. That is everything I bought from the charity shops on my couple of days away this time. A very small haul, very small, but. I don't need the stock. As you know, I've got plenty of backstock that I should be working through, said she, giving the cupboard the side eye where all the backstock is lurking. I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, as, always, as I always say, if there's anything that takes your fancy, give me a tinkle on the email in the description box below and we'll sort something out. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye for now.